Hey, welcome back to Bandon Ship. Do we have audio? Yes. Dark smoke plumes from a ship in your sights. The desire to rush to their help is tempered by the colors of the vessel's fly, clearly marking as a plague ferryman. The fire looks to be close to consuming the vessel. You could probably make a difference if you lend aid, but one moment more and it'll be too late. Yeah, no. I might be considered a douche by doing that, but... Okay, so let's do the privateering thing. Wow. That, and we got five gold out of it. <laughs> Worth it! Like most bullies, it won't take much to take them down. Bloodshed may yet be avoided with forceful parlay. Words are wind, let your shots and steel do the talking, life is precious and ship repairs can be dear. Attempt parlay before more extreme persuasion is necessary. Well, I didn't think it would be that easy. I thought it would fail and you still have to fight. You're not gonna, an attempt to make you show that oh, everything is pointless, only death has meaning here. Um, okay, let's wait before we go to port again. We want to upgrade our ship to something that can hold one extra crew member. Ships has pros and clear hostile intent. Moments before firing range, it plays off the wind and swings across your bow, target your weaker side. We don't have a weaker side. Uh, it's all mortars anyway, so yeah, we're good. Do we play that tag game? Let's do the same one. Let's not. The only thing is we won't have the grape shot. And honestly, I could care less about that. I mean, it's handy for sure, but... It ain't the most important thing. And I mean, that means we can just target all of the crew with our mortars and we don't have to worry about um, getting this guy away from the helm because uh, we have these to take down masts. So. It missed. Well, I didn't know mortars could miss. Uh, let's fire some more of this. Well, they got the check, apparently. Unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good idea. Just go stand in the middle of my dudes. That'll help. <laughs> Idiots. Uh, Melancholic, you realize you've created a ghost ship. Again, you should really sink those ships once you're done with them. Alright. Um, let's get a little bit of repairs in. How much do you get? Oh, that's a decent amount. It's not negligible. Slaver's gift. Slaver would often raid the islands of cannibals lurk, as there was lower risk of reprisals from the authorities who care little for the lives of savages. This island represented a problem, however, as it was location 
a ship was blown onto during a storm. While all was filled with its human cargo, the cans broke out, killed their captors, and have been on the island ever since, decorating it with primitive warnings to ward off courier ships. Doesn't stop opportunistic slavers from raiding the island, though. Look for easy pickings without the long journey to the cannibal's native region. Once a slaver ship appears now, it appears to have deemed you a rival and is willing to fight to stake their claim. Doing battle this close to a cannibal island is dangerous, they are fiercely territorial and will paddle out on canoes to attack nearby vessels. Both you and a slaver ship will need to fend off while engaging one another. <laughs> okay. Food. Huh. I just wanted to go with. F I said food. We are the food here. Um. Okay, so we need to fend off the cannibals. Um. We'll keep one mortar ticking, and we'll send these guys out. We got the anti-boarding spike, so it gives us a slight edge over the enemy. Not you! You, you dimwit. I don't want a negative trade on my guys. To go fix that up. We could probably cover their entire ship in goop. Um, which mortar is the one that's uh, this one? Fix her up. Uh, we can ram. Are we gonna do that now? Um, yeah. Crew's in good health. Their their crew isn't. Hello. That was a pretty delayed bump. Did we? No. Thought we shot somebody overboard, but we didn't. Right. Done and dusted. By victory, we find crew great trunks in a hold of preserved fish and citrus fruit, welcome provisions for recovering their strength. Nice. Um, what else is here that I need to be aware of? Some stuff down there. Some of this. Okay, so. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, with a bit of luck, we can sell provisions, get a better ship. I suppose I would prefer it if it wasn't the um, ship that's just one better than. Uh, the other, but we do need an extra crew member as well, so we need to save some money for that. <clears throat> we'll be close to the port when this goes, so we'll uh, make sure to get... Actually, we'll be leaving after this, so it doesn't matter. The castaway as you rescued has returned to pay his debts. I call from the rigging lurch to an incoming ship, although you instantly recognize it as friendly, reprimanding your subordinate for not recalling your previous heroic deeds. It's a friend indeed, one that owes you a debt of gratitude for a past act. Alongside, they ferry over several crates. You briefly consider graciously turning down the generosity, chuckle, then grab a crowbar. Alright, let's go have a look. Um, did we turn in our maps? Yes. Could use another fighter. Uh, 
All right, let's return to port, go to the docks. Oh, and I was thinking about getting the hull destroyer, right? In case we ever run into something that needs to be killed. Not to mention a, another place for a new guy to go. 50% discount ain't bad. Um, let's get you. Let's see, shipwright. How much do we need for something that can take seven crew? Could get the Corvette. <coughs> It just grants us one extra crew member. I'm assuming. What do we have now? We have the sloop. No, brig. Yeah, we have a brig now. So we get more health, an extra crew member. If we spend. We could get a galleon. No, we need money for an extra crew member to begin with. So let's just get the Corvette. Ship check number will go out and they transfer a new ship. Okay, good. Um, how are we gonna? Oh, we can't recall. We can't put a name on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, you have to pay for repairs? <laughs> Lame. Okay, let's see if we can. F Get a crew now. Um, how much is it for? One thirty-two. Alright, so let's go uh, sell until we have one thirty-two. Uh, you can sell here. One thirty-two. Okay. Nice. Turn to port. Get a look of our ship. New guy to here. All right. We got a new boat. Um. Yeah, we don't really care too much about this mortar because it's more a, it's a whole cracker thing, right? But, you know, it still does crew damage and section damage, I would imagine. So we could target this on the apothecary as well. Not sure if, how well that's going to go, though. Uh, anyway. I am going to hang out here for a spell until this thing fills up. Did anything new pop up in the meantime? No. Right, we'll wait. I'm not sure if we need to be sailing in order for something to happen. Um, because I don't want to get caught out. Uh, whatever, right? Let's just go. It's gonna reset once we get to. Ah, uh, nope. It's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. Formidable cult ship hunting you. Oops. That's better. Alright, let's go to the door with the biggest number. I don't really know why it's a thing. But, well... Whatevs. Morale's high, got tons of food. Seems we're heading to Devil Rock, right? That's where we're heading? 
Some scornful amusement from the presence within you. It knows you want to fight back, then you think you can. Yet you detect a curiosity. It's never encountered this feeling of resistance before. Uh, rumors paint the ports of Devil Rock as having a hands-off approach to law enforcement. An eye for an eye seems to be the custom here. As you approach the area, you see several large plumes of smoke a short ways inland. Whatever authorities the port has clearly had their hands full, you shouldn't give you any trouble. Alright, first things first, is there a... nope, no lighthouse, okay. Well, let's start uh, scurrying around, see what we can find. The more we explore, the more money we're gonna get anyway, right? So... We want to uncover the entire thing, if possible. I do get the feeling they shouldn't uh, allow you to turn in your maps if there's a lighthouse. I mean, here's a bunch of free extra money just for going to a specific point on the map. I mean, I don't mind it, but. It is kind of, if you know what I mean. Doesn't seem to be all too much here, is there? Oh, we need to go to Devil Rock first, I would imagine. Explore the town, because our ship is in a fine state and we have no money for beer. Poor time is ramshackle and sparse, many houses seem to lie empty. You manage to find a sorry looking trading shack. One side you mark to the proprietor on how desolate the port feels. The agar trader mutters something about a recent monsoon keeping the local magistrate busy, but doesn't elaborate, despite the confusion writ large on your face. You've been explaining why you're here, and he interrupts gruffly, directing you to someone who, apparently, will be more inclined to listen. As you approach your supposed destination, a pair of filthy street urchins lob a chunk of dull stone into a puddle next to you. The water steams for a split second before exploding, soaking your breeches. Children free, shrieking with laughter, and you can't help but be impressed by their small demonstration. You're having a hut that stands apart from the others, with strange symbols painted over the door. This is the place. The door is yanked open by an older man, with a beard oiled into multiple points at inconsistent angles. His face is a mess of many small scars, and one of his eyes is glass painted with a crude iris. You see some salty sea dogs in your time, but this guy takes the biscuit. He clearly isn't one for formality, so you come right out with it. You're in the business of hunting exotic sea fauna, and need a tactical edge. You attempt to flatter him by explaining that Devil's Rock's recent infamy and his reputation led you here. He sets off on accounts of his glory days spent fishing and exploring using Devil Rock. They would seal nuggets of the dark rock in oil spherical containers packed with sand. It was just a matter of finding a shoal and dropping it overboard where, once deep enough, the pressure would force water in and set off the reaction. He mimes a huge vertical torn of water. We consider it good luck, he winks, if a fish chunk landed on your head. Okay. You make a quick calculation about how Devil Rock would be needed to surface something as big as a, the Kraken. It was always to take out half your ship at the same time. Hardly ideal. You experiment with launch methods, like firing it from a mortar? Man looks black at you for a second before a large smile creeps, creases up his gnarled features. I like your style, he proclaims, but no, we never needed to. He rummages around his pocket and produces a small pebble. He places on a platter atop a large chest. Grabs a nearby candle and passes the flame slowly back and forth over the stone. <coughs> Instinctively, you flinch and make to cover your eyes, but he just wins again. Friction or heat do nothing. Only water. Man's eyes is lit up. He's desperate to be a part of this experiment of volunteer some supplies. From the good old days, his only request is that he can accompany you for the test. You agree, but you have a lot of explaining to the crew to do before they're happy with you bringing a soluble high explosive on board. Um. 
Oh, so that's why we were forced to get a mortar a while back, I guess. Depth charge. Man the mortar. What mortar? <laughs> this mortar? I guess that's a little jig. Static successful test. This just might work. Yeah, it's really a brilliant idea to bring on board something that explodes when it touches water. On a friggin' boat. <laughs> I'll read your guests sidles up to you. Do you mind to have a rocky plant of fire? Not just after a few hauls or a trophy, are you? He hesitate, but figuring the knowledge won't hurt him, if he even believes you. No, we hunt a kraken, and it hunts us. The pregnant pause replies, I've lived through many seasons, most of them spent at sea. I've seen things men would mock me to hear tell, when other lengthy pause. I, old Balin, believe you. Though I known as young Balin, I join you to see for myself. As you just to wheel your sleeve rides up, revealing the edge of your cult tattoos. It does a good job of pretending not to notice, and you sail the rest of the way into port in silence. Mull over your next steps. You need a place to make a stand as the door. Back in port, you make preparation for your departure. Bale is ebullient and helpful, carefully measuring and packing out enough devil rock to take care of a dozen kraken. He shows you a sphere container wrapped in an extra layer of oily bandage. This will help keep it safe in bad weather, but should slip off easily under water. No fun of the damn thing when off in your hands or hold, would it? You have little time left until your crew has raided themselves. How do you spend it? Your crew and a ship heavy with devil rock are finally ready to depart. Balin's about to disembark. <coughs> I just stop and f ask for a final favor. We need somewhere to corner the Kraken if we want to want these things to hit. At the Pullman's Cove, Balin replies, tapping his grizzled nose with a finger here. I'll mark on your chart. It's a horseshoe bay with some deadly undercurrents. Many a whale and ship have run afoul of that little place. If you don't panic, you can ride a swell back out. But the right tide, not even the Kraken would be able to escape. Okay. Oh, is there something to do with that damned cult? You're clearly connected somehow. But I hardly think you're on the same side. That your business. All I know is they're trouble and they smell weird. Strike them and their little pet a blow and make damn sure you come back and tell me how it went. So we're just gonna go kill a crack. Would that be the end of things? Uh, you provide food when this person is starving. Now they offer what aid they can. Cool. Uh... What is it? Where did you get me? Chain shop. Oh, no, we had that one before. You gave me a chain shop? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of places to go. Um Okay. Well there should be stuff here now other than uh just the port. Cool. Free loot. Ships on course to pass by a vessel of uncertain origin. It's as low in the water and must be heavily laden with cargo. We're not evil. Remember being told of the locals from Devil Rock telling you how they used the native strange metal to react explosive with water for fishing. And you're about to see it firsthand. Seagulls flying behind a small vessel catch your eye. Through a spyglass, you see the fishermen lobbing cloth wrapped lumps into the sea. Packages splash in the water, a few breaths pass, and the water rises in a mass of foam and bubbles. Fishermen throw their nets, easily scooping up the catch. It's an interesting approach, but you wonder how many boats have been inadvertently sunk by their technique. I mean, yeah. 
throw it and it kind of drifts back towards the boat. <laughs> that would probably be bad. I can imagine. Another sod drowning. Hey, he's awake. Cool. Okay, so 100 is max morale. Still don't really know what it does. Maybe it gains experience quicker. I don't know. Uh, toss them. Let the beggars drown. Okay. Only one place left to go, huh? And by that I mean one gate. What did we miss here? Really, it's in that little blotch? Oh my god. Uh, cover ship listening to one side, plumes of water up from the deck, with a raptor vegetable sink. Sure. Okay, um, let's head back to the port. I don't recall looking at uh, stuff they have. I don't think there's actually anything I would want to get, but... <coughs> hey, won't know that until we check, right? Section upgrades. Anything? No. Upgrades and supplies. We have a diving bell. We have heavy hull. We have spikes? No. Do we want spikes? <coughs> um, we have room. Let's get spikes. Pointy things everywhere, right? I wonder what this is for. I wonder if we could upgrade the crow's nest as well. Alright, we only got one way out of here, so let's take it. Let's go this way. Uh, ooh, wow, that's cool looking. The toxic geology of the Forsaken Seas have bled into this area. The vents being poisonous gas to the air, resulting in visibility and sapping your health. Comment, they will constantly eat away at the crew health bar until it enters the red portion. That's gonna be interesting. It's on both sides, so... Maybe that'll make things easier, but uh, that's gonna be for next episode, though. Thank you guys for watching, hope you are Still enjoying the series for free, so support by coming like more. So, if you're ready, see you guys on next episode. Bye, everyone.